Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another tutorial video brought to you by Riv. Today we're back in Rust and I'm going to show you how to create your own Rust map, edit a Rust map and then get that Rust map on your server. So one thing you need, it's going to be called Rust Edit. So I'll leave the link down below. It's a simple install. And once you've got it installed, it will look like this. Here we go. Click play. And this tool I am so impressed with. I've used a lot of building map building tools in my time from the Armour 3 tools to your X cams to your bloody code walkers to your menus to your bloody Unreal Engine 4s. I've used a lot of map building tools and this one is very easy to use, very simple. So yeah, if you into if you fancy like having a bit of a map build and you have this and you've got rust, then this is the way forward. It's simple. So if, first things first, I've got Rust Edit installed. Um, and I'm going to need a map to open because I'm going to edit a map now just to show you but you could go to create new but what I suggest you do is just edit an already made map there's loads of websites out there for free Rust maps but if you've got a server up then I'll show you how to edit your server map so what you want to do is we're going back to our previous videos where we've got our actual server uh, Rust server on the go so if you go into your server folder and my server identity and you'll see here you've got this dot map file so we need to copy this across to your desktop and as I've told you before in previous videos you can copy straight from your VPS and paste onto your desktop I've already done that to save us the uh, save us the wait we know how long the the two core takes so if we go to my desktop I've got it down here uh, so here procedural map for 250 this is the dimensions etc it's all in the server starter going back to our previous videos but we're going to open up that map or you've just downloaded a map that you want to have a little edit uh, and this is how it's done so we're going to select the map it's on my desktop it's the procedural open and load really simple and the tools are just your normal generic x y and z you've got your rotate and you've got your move uh, you've got your snap to the ground etc as you if you've done a bit of map building before you'll be used to it's very simple stuff Yes, I'm liking said tool. Control and D will cop will do a duplicate of the highlighted items. Just a little shortcut for you there. Very convenient. Okay, so this is a standard rust map. Standard rust map. So I'm going to go up to our our area that I've been building at that you you will bingo baby that you will be familiar with from previous videos. So it's next to the airport up here. Do, 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 do. I can show you if you want to see um, custom assets, custom prefabs, etc. Videos, how to how to get them in your server, how to get them in Rust Edit, etc. Just let me know. Just put, just drop a like. I'll keep the tutorials coming if you want to see more tutorials. I know Rust is new to the channel and we haven't got, really got a Rust audience, but like I said before, they're, they're for my benefit as well. You, your guys, so I can come back to them in the future if we if I need to, etc. For the, for the memory bank, man. Right, so we're up here. We're in the map. This is a standard pro, um, procedural map for Rust. Uh, you've either downloaded one, but I'm using the one that my server created when I set up my server on my VPS. So now, up at the top, the main ones you've got are your terrain painter. So if I didn't want this, um, if I wanted this all mud, or if I wanted it all sand, pretty simple stuff. Change the channel to sand. Change your size. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, and the opacity is how much you want it to blend to the next layer. So, for example, now it's on 100, that's going to be a clean boom. Straight took over it. But if I go Control and C, just a little shortcut to undo that. And if I put the opacity all the way down to 1, and if I click all the way on the grass, it won't. I have to keep clicking it, keep clicking it. And it's eventually until how much where I want it. See, it over, just overtaking the, just overtaking the rocks. So that's the opacity. That's how I blend in all my. Um, dirt to me. So if I go a quick example here, all right. So I've blend my dirt into my grass, etc. So if I want to blend the, the, some sand using a splat and a paintbrush into the grass, so I keep it will blend it in as much as you can instead of using a full opacity, which will just clean. Boom. Got it. Control and Z. Control and Z. Always Control and Z to undo. Right. We'll add something here. Just so, uh, so for the test, uh, just go for quickly through the terrain tool. So this one's pretty self-explanatory. The the terrain painter. You've got your sand, you've got your dirt, snow, grass, etc., etc. You don't see the trees in the 
so weirdly enough, but you're doing the survey, it's weird. So grass, grass, pretty simple, man. Pretty simple stuff. What we'll do, just for the testing purposes of this video, I can, um, yeah, we'll just grass all this. Grass. Oh, it's so much better green. So much better green. Oh, it's like a big green field now. It's like a big green field. Look at that. And it does, some of the grass doesn't load in patches, but it does actually load in the survey, you know, it's just the editor. It's just the editor now. Right, so if we wanted to get rid of that, go to the tr terrain tool and put this opacity all the way down to like a one, uh, your size again, depending on what you wanted to do. Um, let's say we wanted to just flatten all this ground, so it's all the same, all the same height. So if I go to the flatten option, well actually you can see that the water's coming through. So let's go up a touch with our raise. Um, to invert, it's holding up, but we're gonna just raise Let's go big circle. So if I go boom, this one was a bit touch higher than the than the water. Do, 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 do. Go a bit more. There we go. Sweet ass. Go down a touch. Do, and we're going to use this as a level and make everything that level. So if I go to flatten and it says hold down Alt, what is it? Sorry, hold down Control and right click to get that height of that. Then if I, wherever I click now, it's pretty much at height. I must have just clicked off it, but yeah, you, you get the gist. Okay, so do 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 you've got to unclick for it to take effect as well boys. You get the point, and then if we go to smooth, smooth, just go all the way up on the opacity. You can smooth them edges. Ah, you'd have never known now. It's the British Isles. Sweet as, sweet as. Okay, so that's just a quick little tools. Um, smoothing, flattening, raising and lowering. So if I wanted to lower it, it's, it tells you all on the on the actual GUI itself. It's hold alt to invert. So if I wanted to go opposite direction, you got the gist. You got the gist. Go round. What beautiful little lake. Beautiful. Right, so let's go to prefabs. Prefab list, you can just search in here. Uh, for whatever, or what I did is I just went to um, prefabs, or whatever. Do, do, do. Do. Scroll down it, just keep scrolling until you find stuff that you want, or just type in um, building, whatever it is you have to. Bearing in mind, uh, it took me like a couple of days to, of adding things and then taking them out, putting them on the server to see what comes. Cause like, just like 5 some things will go on that come on the uh, server and some things will break the server trying to load if you've got this asset in the map you know so if you've put I won't go mad and put a load of detail and then go and add it to your server because you know, to find what it is that's breaking your server you'll probably be pretty scratched in your head but all this sculpturing and terrain painting you'll be fine it's when you're actually adding assets I've come across a couple of things like a, like a farm cabin um, with a turret that if that's in my map, it'll just my map won't load, or any turret. If any turret's in my map, my map won't load. So you've got to be don't go mad. Add a couple, add a few things at a time. You know, do a little area, go and check it uploads onto your server before your server has a fit, and then you've got hundreds of bloody buildings you don't know where to start. But you get my gist. Right. So if we just go to one of these wooden buildings, because we've used these, we know these work. Let's just double click it. Boom. There is that wooden building. You've got down here snapped to terrain. And as normal, just like all the normal tools, so this is your X, Y, and Z. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Thank you, please. You can also obviously hit, hold the pivot and just move it wherever you want. Um, do, 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 what was another thing? Oh, yeah, Control and D, boys. Control and D for a quick duplicate. Very convenient, Control and D. You can also, one good thing about this tool, you can select anything, literally, and it'll take, you know what I mean, if I want all that big rock formation. I've got this. Just be careful you don't select all this sort of stuff, because that will break your map. Do, do, do. Hopefully, hopefully I haven't all just broke it doing that. But yeah, all the monuments there. One thing to be careful with. Don't get messing around with monuments, etc. Until you're familiar with the tool. For now, just do a bit of sculpting. Adding in a few little props like this. They're called prefabs in this game. In Rust. Um, yeah, man. Let me just get rid of the... Uh, there we go. So just so I know I haven't touched... Keep Control Z and so I know I haven't touched the uh, monuments. Because for some reason, my first ever map build... 
it duplicated a lot of the monuments three times. I have no idea. I fixed it, but yeah, I have no idea. I must have been doing something to duplicate the monuments. So if anybody knows, let me know. Anyhow, we have, we have sculpted the terrain. We have painted the terrain. We have added a few buildings in. So obviously the X, Y, and Z, just here's all your options for that. I'll show you in future videos how to add in custom mods um, that aren't actually in the game, you know, and custom prefabs, etc. If you want to see that, hit the like. Let me know down below. But for now, we'll save this, and I'll show you how to go put it onto your server. Hell yeah. So let's go file. Dude, let's go save. There's no point going mad with anything. So that's saved. Well, if I save it quick. Procedural. Let's give it a name. Save as. Name it something as well, guys, because the procedural map name could cause you problems with it already being loaded, this map. Right, so let's call it Rib Chest. I'll, pro I'll provide this little map down below in the description as well for you guys to come on and see where we were and take over. Desktop, map, save. Okay. Unfortunately, we are on the two core VPS because I'm, I'm not going to invest greatly in a uh, test server, you know. Right, although I should reach out to a, a company. Get a sponsor, get a bloody VPS. I've been offered many before, just yeah, haven't needed it, but now I do. Right, so what we're doing? So that's safe, so let's get rid of Rust Edit. It takes freaking ages to, to shut down, so I'll just close it like that. Nice. So it's called Rib Test Map. Here it is. Let's stick this on the VPS. So copy. Over to the VPS. You don't have to do this, but I, I do this. Delete the previous map. Close my server paste the new rib test map into my actual server server my server identity folder no 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 I'm running away myself I don't need to paste that there guys I'm just putting it on my server anyway okay but now what I need to do I need to go to Dropbox and we need to upload a file Upload a file and we're going to be uploading rib test. This is important, this is guys, so make sure you're paying attention. Okay. Okay, so let's go to what we want to do is share this, get the link, copy the link. So we've got the link. Let's go to minimize that. Right, back to our actual server directory. And this is where we need to edit a few things over here now. So what we need to do, everything underneath, well, here we go, from under the Archon port, procedural map level seed and world size needs to go. And we need to replace this with a line, which is uh, server.level, or is it level? I have said line ready to rock and roll. Where is that? Somewhere around here. Here it is. So if I edit this and we go and copy this here, level URL, copy that, go back onto here. Right, this is the important thing. So this is where I need my, see my Dropbox URL is dropbox.com. It won't work. It needs to be DL, which is download.dropboxusercontent.com. So I need to take, let's take it all the way back to the S. Let's take this all the way back to the S. Based. Okay, let's go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Get rid of that. Save that. So with a bit of luck, when we start our, our server. It should have the custom map that we've just edited. So let's go to the actual server. Let's go to server startup. And it is the two courts, so it does take all day. I shall be back when it's loaded.
was just taking that because I wanted the original, uh, the backup of the original, I forgot. Thank you, Lisa.
Okay, people. Sorry about the uh, delay. As we know, it's only a little too coarse, too coarse of, and I don't really like editing these videos. I like to do them all in one, so you can see if any errors ar arise, we, we will uh, fix them then and there. Well, it does server start complete. Nice. So this is on with a custom map now, a custom edited map. So let's go play game. Let's find. This is our modded, and this is the normal one that we've just done. Let's join this. And fingers crossed. It's going to download the map. So everybody automatically downloads the map. So happy days. I can't think if we're admin on this server. Better be. It's going to be sods, sods law that we're not. Uh, no, we won't be able to do forward slash town either. We'll see. Downloading a loading world. Happy days. That's what I like to see. Loading world. Spawning. Okay. This is a vanilla server. The only edits are this map, which I'm going to put the, the standard map back on in two seconds. Just after this fit. Okay, so. Spawn. Nice. Um, I have a turn my must sound down. I thought, oh my goodness, my, my mic better be on. My mic better be on. My mic was on. I nearly pooed my panties. Get away from me, you little bastard. There's bloody three. They were they're pretty mates. Jeez. Right, we're miles away from the, uh, from the edits, which were here. Yeah, there's the big grass. That's the big blob of grass that we put there. Happy days, happy days. Everything's worked. Um, I don't think I've got ad admin on here. No, I haven't. Oh, it's going to be a pain to go and get the admin. I'll have to go and get it, boys. Stand by with me two secs because I don't want to expose my IP address. Bear with me now. Put that over there. Should be sweet. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. No. What can I go like that? Okay, there we go. That worked. That worked. I think. So let's go. Oh no. ID space. Oh my goodness. Can I control? Control C. Control V. Oh my goodness. Rib. Rib. Okay, so that's that done. Can I, do I get instant admin or do I have to rejoin? A bloody rejoin! Goodness sake! Oh, it shouldn't take long this time, though. We'll, we'll just go rejoin. We don't have to download the map this time. Okay. Right, we've got admin. So it's flower, baby. Pretty sure it's this way. To our edits. Rama. Yep. 
miles this way, boys. If you wanted, you could literally change the whole map. Show me, let me know in the comments, man, or on Discord, post up somewhere if you do start working on anything. I'd like to have a look. Post it up on the Discord. Obviously, I've started building my little roleplay town, which is finished. Well, it's never finished, but, um, yeah, I've started building something next to it. I'll just keep moving out and moving out and moving out. Right, this is our edits. As you can see straight away in front of us. That is what we did. And there's our couple of little huts. Happy days. And we made everything nice and grass. Sweet as. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Look at even that looks picturesque. Anyway, guys, I hope it helps. That is how to edit, how to create a rust map how to use the tools and then how to get that map on your server happy days happy days like subscribe guys for more tutorials i'll see you soon peace for now